We use the constant difference trick to figure out whether the points in a table of values represent a linear function. We subtract, find the difference, between adjacent pairs of y-coordinates to see if we get the same answer, the constant answer. Here, 19 minus 12 is 7, 26 minus 19 is 7, 33 minus 26 is 7. I see a constant difference, so that tells me this is a linear function. And then I can use linear calculations to figure out what the equation might be. But if I have a table of values and I try to do that technique and it's not giving me a constant difference, what do I do next? Well, I have to consider what other type of functions it can be, and one of them is quadratic. To figure out whether this is quadratic, one of the tricks that we can use is the second difference. We do the same sort of thing, except instead of using the numbers in our y side of our table of values, we use these numbers that we got as our answers when we tested for the constant difference. So I'm saying 22 minus 18 equals 4. 26 minus 22 equals 4. 30 minus 26 equals 4. Now I keep on getting the same answer, but it's not from the first set of differences, it's from the second set of differences. Second difference is a trick that tells me this is quadratic, and therefore I should use quadratic calculations to try to figure out what the equation is. I'm not going to show that here. But there's another trick that I can do. We're not only looking at second difference, we're also looking at this, x squared divided by y. If I take the x coordinates and square them and then divide by the y coordinates, will I get a constant answer? So here in the first point in the table, x is 4. 4 squared over y means 4 squared over 32, which is 16 over 32, which is 1 half or 0.5. And then I keep on trying to do this. 5 squared over 50 is equal to 25 over 50, which is 0.5. I'm getting a constant answer, and I can keep on doing that with the other points in the table. 6 squared for 72 is equal to 36 over 72 equals 0.5. When I see this constant answer from x squared over y, it means the same thing as the constant answer from the second difference, which is that this is probably quadratic, and I should use quadratic math calculations to figure out what equation would go with this situation. This is the second difference trick and x squared over y.